Carl Joseph, the chief scrutineer of APNU in an application to the High Court, claimed that changes to 37 boundaries in 19 local authority areas by the Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, on January 31 was done in violation of Article 72 of the Constitution, while the electoral body relied on Section 3.1a and b of the Local Authorities Act, Chapter 2803. But after careful consideration and listening to arguments from Joseph's attorney, Chief Justice Acting Roxton Judge, concluded that GCOM did not have to follow the criteria outlined in Article 72. Joseph had also argued that APNU will be disadvantaged if the June 12, 2023 elections go ahead with the boundaries that have been set out. But according to the Chief Justice, those claims are without merit, are prejudiced and cannot concern the court or GCOM. Now that is asking the court to engage in partisan politics and that cannot be continence. There is no evidence to support this ground. It amounted to an opinion, Justice George said. Left only to consider the claim that GCOM should have only applied the consideration of Article 72 when combining or subdividing constituencies, the judge pointed out that it is first the responsibility of the Minister of Local Government to divide Guyana into local authority areas. The minister is guided by Article 72 and in so doing, Article 72 of the Constitution provides for the division of Guyana into subdivisions as is necessary for the purpose of organizing local democratic organs. In so doing the division, consideration must be given to, among other things, the population, the physical size and geographic characteristics, and economic resources. GCOM is not concerned with division into local authority areas, establishing or changing boundaries, the Chief Justice said. GCOM is only tasked with ensuring the right number of constituencies so as to ensure matched representation with the number of specified councillors for each local authority area. Noting previously that the 2023 changes would allow for a more democratic local governance, Minister of Local Government and Regional Development Nigel Darmlal said his changes were to reverse the 2018 changes to what was obtained in 2016. The same boundaries used in 2016 elections were the boundaries in place since the 1990s and only changed in 2018 by the APNU AFC. During the 2018 local government elections, the APNU AFC coalition created new NDCs as well as collapsed and merged some NDCs, which the PPPC had protested at the time was for political reasons. 14 areas were affected in 2018. No boundaries were reduced in 2003 but in some areas, the boundaries were extended.